I'm too sexy for my shirt. Too sexy for my shirt. Too sexy. Yeah, yeah. Anyways, obviously you can tell that I'm feeling myself today. And I'm going to show you guys how I accomplished this look. If you like it too. See ya. Okay, and do our face, we shall. This is my face. To see my little elf ear sticking out. Let's begin. First, we brushed out our eyebrows. And when I say we, I mean me in the past is... Well, me in the present is telling you in the past what I did. Anyways, so I like to do my eyebrows with this e.l.f. dupe of the ABH Brow Wiz. It has a spoolie on one end and an uh, eyebrow pencil on the other. Uh, I, br I like to brush right after I line the bottom. And when I line the bottom, my goal is really just to fill in the sections that should have hair, that don't have hair, so I give my eyebrow a nice shape. It really is just a process going back and forth between lining and brushing, lining and brushing again. So now, since we cheap, we got some samples for my foundation. Not just because we're cheap, I don't know which foundation I should switch to now that it's winter. Yeah, so what I'm doing now is I'm blending out this um, Laura Mercier sample I got. And it is a bit light for my face, but I'll show you how I correct it. I color corrected it with this red tone. Seeing as red is ideal for complexions that are deep, like mine. If you darker, if you darker, then use red. That's the only color correcting color I use. And it's from my ABH contour palette. Tisa, get it out your mouth. Get out your mouth. Get out your mouth. Bossy. She's always putting things in her mouth. Anyways, back to the tutorial match the color now I'm putting in NARS in the color Trinidad the areas where you would contour I'm not gonna put the darker color on my highlight because that just doesn't make any sense I'm gonna make it lighter just now anyhow on my nose and then I'm gonna go back in with some more ABH products. This is Amber, my foundation stick in the color Amber. Now similar to the process before, I'm going in and all the areas where I would highlight, I'm using the lighter complexion. Here my Black Beauty Blender. I picked up this one recently. They said that this one is new and improved. It doesn't bleed. Um, if you have a beauty blender right now, um, you probably have realized that whenever you wash it, the color, the pink color likes to bleed out. And this don't do that. So yeah, good job beauty blender for making it better for all of us. Blend everything out as best as you can. Yeah. Okay. So I am blending, blending, blending. It's really important because this color is super light for my face. So I gotta make sure I make the best of it. Now, what I did next was go in my handy dandy makeup box. Take on my LA girls. Yeah. I can't decide oh shit okay so obviously I'm gonna go with the lighter color to highlight that one's too close to my skin tone I like to start right by my nose Oh! <laughs> 
gonna blend in now, but the technique is really important. P pat it, just pat it. Don't, don't dab it. And when you pat it, it will still be lighter. You don't want it to melt into your face. I still have to go over again because it's starting to blend into my face. I needed it to be noticeable, but not too noticeable. Putting my Laura Mercier translucent setting powder. This palette right here is super underrated. It's my Forever 21 contour palette. It's a powder palette, and normally you should go in with cream or um, a liquid contour tool first, but I find it makes, it's just too much for me, so I only use powder to contour now. And this color is just ideal. I love it. I'm super impressed with what Forever 21 did. It was super affordable. It was about eight bucks. In fact, yeah, it was like eight ninety. And this color is perfect for contouring because it's not too black. It's always hard for me to find a color for contouring because of my complexion. I think I could even start using bronzers instead to contour. Give me a nice glow. Kill two birds at one stone. Next we're using this master palette that I'm still getting accustomed to. I'm not really good at doing eyeshadow but that's something I will improve on. So I began with putting the dark brown color on my eyelid yeah. and I go from darker to lighter. Got Marina. Marina on deck. Marina is my favorite um, color in this palette. I use it for highlighting, I use it for my eyeshadow, everything. I use it for my glow. Whatever, whatever is clever. Aziza! Yeah, so now we're blending out with another e.l.f. product. I love e.l.f., man. They're super affordable. And I am at a time in my life where affordability is very, very important. So, blend everything out. I like it. I like it. Now I'm using my NYX palette. It's broken. I'm using this pinkish color, but not too much. It's my everyday look. I don't need a pink. I don't need pink rosy cheeks. Who am I trying to fool? So going back in with Marina on my eyelid to brighten it up because it looks a little bit too dark. I want it to shine. Yeah, like so. Mm. And I put it there in the corner of my eyelid, but not too much. Bridge in my nose, favorite area. Yes, yes. Put it on your cheeks like this, and be careful not to put it underneath your eye, or if you have sunken in eyes like I do, you will. it will stand out. You'll make it stand out. Yeah, this is looking good. I like it. I like it a lot. Okay, now this e.l.f. setting spray, it's life for me right now. 
because with all that powder I used, I need to be careful of looking like a cake face. Important note, keep a setting spray handy or else you will look like a cake face and bathe in it. Bathe in it, literally. And you'll be fine. You'll have that nice glow. Yes. Yes. This was, in fact, I'm very happy to tell you guys that I accomplished this on my first try. Normally, I go back in with my LA Girl Concealer and I line my eyeliner so that you can't see the imperfections. But this day, I was just, I was just doing things right. Yeah. Mm, I should really wax my knuckles. <laughs> and fun fact about my nails ladies this is actually press on nails I am so done with going to nail salons until I come in contact with one that you know has excellent reviews I'm not going I'm not bothering it's a waste of money unless I'm doing my toes because god knows they need work but yeah mascara use any mascara you like Going back in with that same dark color. Yes. Underneath. To help my eyes pop. And then proceeding to mascara afterwards. Yeah. It's important to always add mascara afterwards and not powder afterwards or else your eyebrows or your eyelashes will well they'll look bad they'll just look bad i'm lining my lip with a pretty dark color it's the same one i use on my eyebrow but i want this dark color because my lipstick is really really red if you're pretty shy to you know wear red lips just make sure you got a nice dark 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 almost black lip liner this is my sephora red lip, lip gloss no, lip stain actually would you call this a lip stain or a lip gloss i don't even know but i love it as long as i have like a lip liner to go with it yeah 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 going in for another layer now Waiting for I have to wait for it to dry. Perfection today. Yes, I have perfection today. I feel it. Yeah. Now I learned this trick from It's My Ray Ray. You line your lips with the concealer to make it look more pronounced. Yeah, just be careful not to leave any like harsh lines. Make sure you blend it out properly. I'm using the tip of the Beauty Blender so that I can still ensure that it's pronounced without having that defined line closer to the outer corner. And I'm setting again with translucent powder, blending, blending, and look at what I done did. Yes, baby, yes. I did good today. Now, if you like this tutorial, subscribe for more videos. I will definitely try my best to release a video. You know, we could try it for every day. We could try it for once a week, but for a minimum, once a week. Thank you for watching.